Welcome to this video. In this video, we will go through a simple example illustrating uh, modified nodal analysis. So a simple circuit diagram consisting of uh, three resistances and two independent voltage sources uh, is shown here. Uh, the question is to calculate the current through two ohm resistance using modified nodal analysis. So first we will uh, recollect the conventional nodal analysis that we might have studied in uh, circuits and networks and uh, then we will go through modified nodal analysis so to do conventional nodal analysis we will mark uh, this node as node 1 and the voltage at this node is v1 with respect to the reference node the reference node is here this one so this is your uh, reference node so the potential of node 1 with respect to the reference node is v1 that is the unknown quantity now we can write kcl at node 1 so if this current is i1 and the current through 2 ohm resistance is i1 and the current through this 4 ohm resistance is i2 and the current through this one is i3 so kcl uh, is i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 at node 1 so i1 is given here that is v1 minus 10 by 2 then i2 is uh, v1 by 4 i3 is v1 minus 12 by 4 that is equal to 0 so this is one equation and uh, the only unknown is v1 uh, we can simply solve this and if you solve the equation uh, you will get v1 as 8 volt so once you get the value of v1 you can easily find out the values of i1 i2 and i3 so i1 will be minus 1 ampere i2 will be 2 ampere and i3 will be minus 1 ampere so i1 equal to minus 1 ampere means 1 ampere will be flowing uh, this way since we have assumed the direction from right to left and we are getting a negative value then the actual current flow will be from left to right so these things you already know from your basic circuit analysis course uh, now you will see modified nodal analysis to solve the same circuit. So in modified nodal analysis, uh, mm -hmm. we will do a, a systematic procedure which can be uh, written as an algorithm and a computer can easily do it. So the number of steps involved will be more compared to conventional nodal analysis. Uh, but um, this is a systematic procedure and we can uh, write an algorithm or a program to implement this using a digital computer okay so here uh, the major difference uh, is for a junction between two elements is also taken as a node in modified nodal analysis so this junction between 10 volt uh, this independent voltage source and this resistance is marked as node 1 and uh, this junction can, uh, is marked as node 2 where three resistances are connected and this junction between this 4 ohm resistance and a 12 volt source is marked as node 3 and uh, this reference node is marked as node 0 so totally there are four nodes and uh, we can write three equations by writing KCLs, KCL at the Kirchhoff's current law equations at these three nodes 1, 2 and 3 so the reference node is 0 and the node voltage is at the nodes 1, 2 and 3 are V1, V2 and V3 and uh, if you write KCL at node 1 suppose this current through 10 volt voltage source is I V1. We don't know the value of the current through the independent voltage source. So it is a variable, unknown variable. So it is marked as I V1 and the direction is taken uh, from positive plate of the battery to negative plate of the battery. Okay. So this is the direction of current I V1. We are assuming this direction. And if you are getting a negative value after solving this, then the actual current flow will be opposite. So now we can easily write the KCL at node 1. At node 1, the one IV1 current is flowing out and the current through this 2 ohm resistance is 
V1 minus V2 by 2. So if you write QC that node 1, then it is simply IV1 plus uh, V1 minus V2 by 2 is equal to 0. So this is the KCLF node 1. Now we can write the KCL at node 2. At node 2, we have three currents. Current flowing through the two ohm resistances V2 minus V1 by 2 ohm, that is written here. And current through this 4 ohm resistance is simply V2 by 4. And current through this 4 ohm resistance connected between node 2 and 3 is V2 minus V3 by 4. So sum of these three currents equal to 0 by KCL. So that is our second equation. Then at uh, node 3 we can write one more equation. So at node 3 you have a 4 ohm resistance and a 12 volt voltage source. Okay. So when we are considering uh, node 3 there are two currents. Current through the independent source 12 volt. So we will mark the direction of this unknown current from positive plate of the battery to negative plate of the battery. So this is IV2. Suppose this is IV2 and current flowing out of node 3 towards this through this resistance 4 ohm is uh, V3 minus V2 by 4. So V3 minus V2 by 4 plus IV2 equal to 0 by KCL at node 3. So now we have three equations, but totally we have now five variables V1, V2, V3, and two unknown currents IV1 and IV2. So totally there are five variables, but now we have only three equations. So two more equations we need that you can uh, directly write by looking at the circuit. From the circuit diagram, you can easily see that potential at node 1 with respect to the reference node is simply 10 volt. So V1 is nothing but 10 volt. Similarly, potential at node 3, V3 with respect to the reference node is 12 volt because between node 3 and the reference node, this 12 volt voltage source is connected. So V3 is 12 volt. So these two equations we can directly write. Okay, so now we can uh, collect the five equations. I have written the five equations here. So KCL at node 1 gave us this equation IV1 plus V1 minus V2 by 2 equal to 0. And KCL at node 2 uh, led us to this second equation V2 minus V1 by 2 plus V2 by 4 plus V2 minus V3 by 4 equal to 0. And KCL at node 3 leads to this equation v3 minus v2 by 4 plus iv2 equal to 0 now two more additional equations we have already written v1 is equal to 10 and v3 equal to 12 okay from here so uh, you can collect the terms uh, rewrite the equations uh, like um, half v1 first equation is uh, written here half v1 minus half v2 plus 0 v3 plus iv1 plus 0 iv2 equal to 0 then second equation is uh, rewritten here minus half v1 this this one is simplified and written here minus half v1 plus v2 minus v3 by 4 equal to 0 third equation is also simplified and written here now these five equations we can write in matrix form so a coefficient matrix A multiplied by a co column vector consisting of these five variables V1, V2, V3, IV1, IV2 equal to a matrix a, a column vector of constants. So if you fill these entries in this matrix uh, based on the previous five equations, you will get a matrix like this. Okay, so this is your A matrix and this column vector is Suppose uh, Z matrix and this this one is or we can denote it as X. This is X and this column matrix B. So it is an AX equal to B form, a linear uh, system of equations. So there are five equations and five unknowns. So we can solve this using. Uh, uh, any uh, software like a MATLAB so I will solve it using MATLAB here so 
so the matrix a can be defined like this a is equal to within square brackets you write each row by row and each row is separated by a semicolon so the entries in the first row are half minus half zero one and zero then put a semicolon then write the second entries in the second row then semicolon entries in the third row semicolon fourth row semicolon fifth row so that is a matrix so the values are loaded into this variable a capital a now initialize the right hand side vector suppose that is b matrix b is equal to the right hand side uh, is 0 0 0 0 first entry is 0 semicolon second row is 0 semicolon third row is 0 semicolon fourth row is 10 volt semicolon fifth row is 12 so b is also initialized then the solution x is equal to a slash b this is a command used to solve system of linear equations in MATLAB. so if you solve this you will get the solution as 10 8 12 minus 1 minus 1 so this is the solution so let us copy this so the solution is v1 v2 v3 iv1 iv2 is equal to 10 8 12 minus 1 minus 1 so this is the same answer as we got in the previous Con uh, conventional nodal analysis in conventional nodal analysis also we got this this node 2 voltage there it was node 1 that voltage we got as 8 volt so here also we are getting the same thing and the current through these two branches we got it as minus 1 i1 is minus 1 and i3 is also minus 1 so the same thing we will get here but it is done uh, with a different procedure so this is how we solve a uh, circuit consisting of only independent voltage sources using modified nodal analysis. So what is the purpose of doing this and uh, how to implement this in a digital computer? Those things we will study in the coming classes. Thank you.